Hello everybody, E here. Welcome back to another Thursday Theorist. This is the Stephen King Theorist episode. I don't know. You have to check the number down there. I don't keep track. But today we are finally talking about later. Uh, this is another one of Stephen King's hard case crime books. And once again, it doesn't really fit the hard case crime not really genre. I don't think it fits with any of the other books that they have. But what this series is about is connecting Stephen King's books to the greater Dark Tower universe and the Kingverse overall. So that's what we're going to do today. Uh, if you're unfamiliar with the series, there will be spoilers throughout. So get ready for that. On with the Thursday Theorist review. Okay, so first off, we are going to talk about some uh, something that not everybody is going to catch. Uh, it is the combination to the panic room um, later on in the book. Once again, spoilers, but uh, Terrio's, I believe it's Terrio. Is it not, it's not Terrio. No, it's the mobster. I'm sorry. Or whoever it is, the drug runner, what, what, whatever the guy was. Um, that guy's safe room, because Terrio ends up turning into, or getting possessed by Pennywise. We'll, we'll get to that. <laughs> Anyways, uh, so with the, the, the panic room code is 73612. And if you add up all those numbers, they come up to 19. I had a dozen of you uh, email me. Uh, saying, I don't think anybody else is going to catch this, or, or whatever it was. Patrick, you were one of them. Uh, everybody told me about it. I, I caught it on my first read-through. Anytime a number pops up, uh, I appreciate your guys' help. Don't get me wrong. And, and anytime in the future, continue to email me. What I'm saying is, anytime numbers pop up in the Stephen King universe, I automatically add them up. Um, so if it's numbers, I probably have already seen it. But go ahead and email me anyways, just in case. Uh, of course, There's a mention of Shawshank in here uh that's the that puts it in the king verse it always it also puts it in to the dark tower universe and i've explained that in other videos uh that ad nauseum uh, over and over and over again so uh next up we have a, literally in the book someone calls the lights the dead lights we're gonna get to uh, the the big connection here in a second, but I just want to throw out and that's part of the big connection But just little little things that pop up that I caught uh, Deadlights again if anybody finds anything that I don't talk about in this video Leave it down there in the doobly-doo if I can verify it because I think I caught everything if I can verify it Then I will pin your tweet if there's more than one of you. I'll just pin the first one. I guess I don't know um, King quotes himself in the book, which not only puts it in the King verse, but puts it in the Dark Tower verse, because Stephen King is literally a character in the Dark Tower universe um, in Song of Susanna. I believe he's in that one. All right. And finally, we're going to get to the major connection here, which is the ritual of Chud, Chud, whatever you want to call it. Um, there's a lot of stuff. I don't, I'm not going to talk about, you know, if if it's offensive to Native Americans or any number of things that people have been arguing about uh, with the movie, uh, with it, with the movie for it, uh, the Andy Machete, uh, re not remake, reboot, whatever you want to call it, um, not the miniseries, because uh, the, ri the Ritual of Chud isn't in uh, the, the original miniseries, but it is in Machete's uh, vision of the movie, um, of the book, sorry. Uh, so... Ritual Chud uh, is the the ritual that the the kids try and use to defeat Pennywise uh, in it. It is used again here so that Jamie can defeat uh, Terrio. Um, it's not Theralt. It's it's Terrio. Uh, I I listened to the audiobook. I even looked up the Google pronunciation. It's a weird. It's it's. English, man. Maybe it's not English. Maybe it's French. I don't know. But uh, <laughs> what I'm getting at is it does not read like it's written. Let me make sure I got the name main character. Yeah, Jamie Conklin. Um, okay, so the Ritual of Chud. Now, here's where we need to talk as a community. Is it actually it? Is it actually the entity known as it or the entity the, uh, Pennywise? Is it that same entity? Um, we need to talk about that. Uh, we definitely need to talk about whether or not it is anything from leftover from If It Bleeds from The Outsider. 
Uh, we need to talk about it. Maybe it's a dream catcher, not dream catcher, the alien from dream catcher. I think they're all the same species. Sorry about that. <laughs> My air conditioning cut on. I had to turn it off. The, uh, so it, it, who, who is, who is this? Who is inside Terrio? It's the deadlights. Are the deadlights just one entity? Uh, people have been bringing up for the longest time is Pennywise the Crimson King. I don't think he is. Um, definitely not Mordred, as somebody else was mentioning. This is an entity that has existed, but an entity that got trapped in our realm. So that's why I don't think it's the Crimson King. Um, unless, unless you could say that he was let loose, the Crimson King was let loose at the end of the Dark Tower series, but I, I, don't, I don't think so because it, it's it's a wheel, right? So it, it all starts over again. Um, I, I don't know. Let's let's have a discussion about this. I'm gonna pay real close attention to the comments down there. So this one, that's all I have, and I know it's a relatively short video, but I wanted to open up the discussion about this. Who do you think Terrio? Who do you think possesses Terrio? Do you think it's actually Pennywise, the entity known as it? Do you think it's you know a different one, a different outsider, uh, or the same outsider? Let me know down there in the doobly doo, and. I, I, I'll, I'll respond to as many people as possible, but he, here's the thing. I, I don't want any, I don't want any arguments. This, all this stuff is for fun. Okay. So just go down there, have fun with your theories, uh, talk it over, be nice. Don't be rude. Um, if you're rude, I just remove you like always. Um, so that's everything for this Thursday theorist. Uh, I also realized here at the end for you, uh, fans that actually stick around for the whole video. I appreciate you. Um, I, I completely forgot that I didn't finish the If It Bleeds Thursday Theorist. Um, I am going to be recording it right after this one, the last two episodes. I'm going to cut them all together and put them into one video. All right. So it's coming. So you have another Thursday Theorist, maybe next week, the next, the week after that. I don't know. Sorry, this was so long coming. Also, uh, we had a tornado. I had electricity issues. We had literally had an F1 tornado in my town, came right through here. Um, uh, let's see here. Prattville, if you want to look it up, Prattville, Alabama. Um, and then uh, the electricity out here, uh, I wired my AC unit wrong and blew out the fuse, uh, and, for some odd reason, even after we replaced it, it wouldn't work. So I called out an electrician. I don't know anything about this stuff. I just put it in and plugged it in. And uh, yeah, it... <laughs> But that's it for today's Thursday Theorist. If you found something that I didn't find, let me know down there in the doobly-doo. But until next time, I have been E, you have been you. This has been another Thursday Theorist review. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye. Later.